Mickey and none of his office. Welcome to the Good News Show. Today we are featuring Cody from our Salvo Resto program. I first met Cody when one of his friends, Ethan, invited him along to youth group. Some of the gaskets. Cody, like, like all the boys, were very young when they arrived and very enthusiastic. Lucky charm. While <laughs> well, the windscreen wipers still work. Yeah. Once they found out there was an EK holding in the garage that was going to be restored, they got really excited. I like Holdens because I want to have fun with my friends doing up a car and restoring it. When we first met Cody, he was such a shy boy, but it didn't take long for his inner self to start coming out. we got a poser at the front. I was a person who was a bit quiet. I didn't really talk to people who I don't know that much. Just mainly at home, play the PS3, play the computer. Salvo Resto really began when the Drysdale Smash Repairs volunteered their services to uh, take on this project. Well done, that's what we're looking forward to working with Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. First impression of Cody when he first turned up was a quiet boy. Yeah, when the kids arrived, Cody was stood out from the crowd. He was the, probably one of the shyest ones there. We were using our tools, so we asked to respect our tools and put our tools away. Dave and Scott have been good because Dave paid attention to, to us to help us out with the project. If you don't bring something to eat, there's a microwave all that sort. Of... We're so grateful for Dave and Scott for their willingness to open up their workshop to train and mentor these young guys. It's just been fantastic. I don't know if they're doing a good job, but I reckon that side, once you get that floor pan off, I reckon we'll be looking at the same, same rust problem <laughs> under this side. Cody probably come out of his shell first. Yeah! He just got to know us all, all of us guys and he's just changed into a completely different person there. You've seen him grow and... We've seen him come from a boy and turn himself into a man, to a young man. <clears throat> the way he's changed is confidence. That's grown. Uh, you can see that every day he comes in now. He doesn't have to ask the question what to do. He just jumps in, starts working, knows where he's at, what he's up to and he's on the ball, he knows what he's doing. Good. Hopefully I've made an influence on him as sort of um, him becoming a man with the way he is. They've changed my life because of when I was talking to, especially to Dave. We've had a few chats, chit chats. He wants to join the army, I'm ex-army, so... And he's been a good person to talk to about the ADF stuff and all that, and what to do, and help me out if I need any hints on what to do. His work ethic from when he started to now hasn't changed. It's been just head down, bum up all day. He's always turned up every, well, it was Tuesday, Wednesday nights. He's here every single Saturday. <laughs> My relationship with them is good. We joke around and that kind of thing. Like, Scott calls me Brian Tanty Jr. The reason behind Brian Tanty Jr. is he's definitely proved that he, yeah, he's capable of making up repair panels and sections for uh, some of the repair panels that we've had to make up for the EK. Now I've got to basically shrink that all back in so it's going to be a hammer and dolly work and then just work it. And it work come out 100%. Our relationship with Cody from when he started to now, he started as a schoolboy and now he's 18. We more see him as a friend, he comes in, he can talk to us about pretty much just general everyday life. It's not just all about work, it's just him, if he has questions on anything, we'll talk to him about it. It's been really good that he's now found employment um, locally. Um, hopefully that's going to broaden his horizon on, on, on our trade. To see these men just come alongside the boys, they've been teachers, they've been mentors, they've been friends. It's just been great for them to have positive male role models. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. The Salvation Army has connected me with the community 
It's made me feel good because I'm a part of something. Kobe just talked to me about all the people come and talk to me, he's loving it. So it gives them a whole new outlook on life to think, wow, I can actually talk about something, something that makes sense to people, they like hearing about it and they enjoy it, so it's really exciting. And being a part of something is good, like the Salvation Army, because they help out people. The name Salvo Resto really is about salvation and restoration, not just of a vehicle, but of the lives of the kids and everyone involved in the project. The panel industry probably was looked down on as rough blokes. It wasn't probably at a place where you want to bring kids or women wouldn't want to be here. But I think in, in what we're doing with the kids, it's just changed the community's probably thoughts on what a panel shop is all about. He's a man, Scotty. Definitely, I, before this, I probably couldn't imagine guiding young kids at the time in what we do every day. And I think in doing that, it's helped me grow as a person and it, I hope that it's helped the kids grow that were part of the program. In general, I reckon it's been a great program. I couldn't be more thrilled and excited uh, for Salvo Resto. It's, uh, it's not just going to restore cars, it's, it's going it's to restore life. Making heaven on earth is our business. You know, seeing community restored, working together, so we can all be who we were designed to be. And we want to thank the Drysdale Smash Repairs community for being brave enough to say, yes, we want to do this. And not only say yes, but do it. They've, their actions have spoken louder than their words. And, and we are so grateful for their support because Salvo Resto would not be in operation without their help. I recommend anyone to do this sort of thing because it's, it's all, at the end of the day, it's all for the kids. So, well, I should say young men now but they've grown that old, so yeah. Whilst the car is not yet finished, the story is not yet finished either. Stay tuned for next time for more exciting good news stories. <laughs>